Intel and AMD stepping up uh, competition with NVIDIA. All three announced new AI chips this week. Joining us now, uh, Paul Meeks, Harvest Portfolio uh, Management Co-CIO. I think we talked about this issue last time, uh, Paul, I I in detail. And uh, the moat, maybe, that NVIDIA does or, or, or doesn't have. Um, what, what do you think of the news from, well, let's start with uh, NVIDIA. I'm still getting up to speed on the Blackwell, uh, and, and now i got to figure out the Reuben. If you figured it out, yeah, it's not a sandwich. I know that. Yeah, all these are named after famous female scientists, which I think is cool. You it know, is what cool, came yeah. Out of, dark uh, matter. The per yeah, the person that discovered uh, or postulated dark matter for Reuben. You're, you're well-schooled, Joe. I love it. Not really. I have, I have Google. Anyway, go on. So, you know, we just have this uh, Computex uh, trade show. It's a big daddy trade show, Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, at that uh, show, of course, uh, Jensen Wong is always going to be, you know, the marquee speaker, or at least one of them. So we only announced uh, Blackwell in March. And here we are, less than three months later, and we're announcing Rubin and also giving some hints to the product platform thereafter. So right now we're covered for essentially 25, 26, and 27. And this is really unprecedented when a semiconductor company, particularly uh, dealing with such sophisticated products and manufacturing, goes to the next platform. This is usually a couple of years. They are cranking these out on a yearly cadence which is going to keep them ahead because that is really tough to do. Now, at the tra same trade show, AMD announced product. You know, they're uh, racing hard, and so did Intel, and so did some derivative plays on Qualcomm and ARM. But here's what I think about the competition. I think NVIDIA will uh, stay ahead. It's a very, very big pie. AMD is a well-regarded company. They will get a slice. But NVIDIA will still stay uh, top dog. Intel is a company, at least on the manufacturing side, that has been the gang that uh, hasn't been able to shoot straight for about 20 years now, Joe. And so I think that they will make a comeback in PC-oriented CPUs. But all their claims about AI, maybe they get there. But I will believe it when I see it because they don't have a lot of credibility with me. As of now, I think NVIDIA is still in a comfortable position. The stock is trading at about 32 times next year's earnings, and they should grow their EPS at about that rate. So I think it's no longer a relatively cheap stock. Right now it has a peg ratio of one. I think it's approaching fair value. I wouldn't be aggressive buying it here, but I would continue to hold it I think these uh, threats that have come out in the last couple uh, weeks are purported threats. And at the end of the day, NVIDIA will maintain a big, big position, very lucrative, although AMD will take some share. Right. Uh, so Intel does regain some share in, uh, in PC CPUs, but you don't think it, they're credible in, in AI. And it's a $30 stock. And watching it over the years, I remember Jerry Sanders. I knew the guy when I was out in Los Angeles at, at AMD. Yeah. No one would have predicted. AMD is twice the size now, market cap, of Intel. They, they just left them in the dust. And then NVIDIA is four times at least the market cap of, uh, of AMD. It's staggering uh, what's happened. So the pie's big enough for AMD to benefit, AI pie, in, in, in chip pie, but... The pie's so big that NVIDIA doesn't even hurt NVIDIA, in your view. I think they'll be hurt a little bit, but they'll still have a major share. And right now, even though the stock is run, revenue and earnings per share growth have been at least in pace, if not ahead. So I think it's actually a reasonable holding. And if you have a tech portfolio, I still think, even at this price, NVIDIA is an anchor.